reality that our globalist leaders have in mind for us? I know one thing for sure. And that is that if nothing changes, if we don't start to seriously fight for our continent, for our religion, for our people, our countries, then this time that we live in will go down in history as the time in which Western nations no longer had to get invaded by hostile armies in order to be conquered. This time will then go down in history as the period in which the invader was actively invited in by a corrupt elite. And not only did this corrupt elite invite the enemy in, they made the native population pay for it too. Dutch national disgrace and dubbed climate pope Frans Timmermans already stated in 2015 that diversity is humanity's destiny and that Europe will be diverse. And of course, by now, I think we all know what they mean with the word diversity. It means less white people, less of you. Isn't it funny how the same people who erode our national sovereignty and love to do it, give it all up to the Eurocrats there, that those people are now telling us that we need to spend billions and billions of euros on the national sovereignty of Ukraine? The totalitarian institute of the European Union needs to come down. Let me be clear, I don't believe in reforms. When the foundation of your institution is rotten, and that is the case in Brussels, you can rebuild the house on top of it all you want, but it's still going to crumble. So the only answer is the Tower of Babel needs to be destroyed.